welcome to Marmot City. Marmot City is home to the largest colony of marmots at the Allen Brooks Nature Center. There are 14 species of marmots worldwide. They're found only in the Northern Hemisphere. And they are the largest ground-dwelling squirrel um, in the world. The species of marmot that we have at the Allen Brooks Nature Center is the yellow-bellied marmot, called so because, of course, they have golden yellow fur on their bellies. So the yellow-bellied marmot's uh, preferred habitat is open spaces like grasslands such as this, where there's few trees and shrubs. <coughs> their natural predators are coyote, birds of prey, and snakes which eat the young. And living in the open spaces such as this, that makes them quite vulnerable to predators. So one of their defense strategies is camouflage. Although they have the yellow fur on their bellies, the fur on their backs is colored to blend in with the rocks that they live on. So here's an example of a marmot burrow underneath a large fallen rock. The marmots dig very deep in under the ground, down about 15 feet or 4 meters. The marmots hibernate from August until February or March, and so they have to eat lots of food over the spring and summer to build up enough fat reserves to survive the winter. Marmots are primarily herbivores. They eat lots of grasses, flowers, berries, and tree bark. And an interesting fact about the marmots is that they have evolved not to drink water in order to survive in the hot, dry uh, conditions of the grasslands in southern BC. They get all of their fluid intake through the plants they eat. Marmots live in harems. One male will mate to with as many as three females. And they have litters of up to eight pups that are born once per year in the spring. The marmots have a 30-day gestation period and the newborn pups will stay in the den for another 30 days before they emerge. A marmot's lifespan is about three to five years. Another defense that marmots have against predators is <clears throat> when they're out foraging for food or playing, they'll post at least one guard near the entrance to the den. And that guard will keep a sharp eye out for the predators. And at the first sign of danger, it'll um, make a sharp, high-pitched chirp as a warning call to the other marmots to let them know there's danger in the area. And this characteristic has given the yellow-bellied marmots the nickname of the whistle pig. Marmots are very sociable animals. They will rub their noses and cheeks together. They'll put their paws around each other's necks. And they like to wrestle and play. They also like to sun themselves on rocks, just like humans like to sunbathe. 